Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received more than you will ever know. So, what I need you to do right now, Pisces, is I need you to give me all that fun, loving, exuberant, sexy, drug, and beautiful energy that you got. You can do that by clicking that like button. You can comment. You can share. You can subscribe. You can just do all those beautiful, magical, glorious things that you do to me so well here at Tally's Tarot. So, I am going to slap down the holy water. Whoa. Yeah. And my kitties are licking each other, giving each other baths. Beautiful kitty love, Pisces. <laughs> I can't play that for too long, you know, because I can sit here and just do that forever. And you guys would be like, ah, this is a, a tarot reading, not a ukulele playing tutorial. Well, it's not even a tutorial. Anyway, so tarot is now in session. The most honorable Judge T. T. Dong presiding. You may all keep eating your hummus wrap. <laughs> That's literally what I just got done eating. A beautiful hummus wrap. It was so good. So. We are going to check in on the energy of that person you're dealing with or whatever energy is going to be coming towards you, my beautiful loves, whatever the case is. We're going to get it, we're going to hit it, and then we're going to quit that shit. <sighs> yeah, baby. I got to get my breath to decompress. Sorry, guys. It takes me a lot of energy. Trust me. It takes me. I use all the energy I got. <laughs> I do. Show! Okay. 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 Ooh, we got the two cups down there on the table. Show! Show! Top to bottom. I don't know what that was. Show me the energy of the person in my Okay, alright, okay. Overall, well, down on the table, we've got the two of pentacles, we've got the five of pentacles, we've got ten cups of living, and the high priestess is the overall energy for the reading right now. Okay, so um, the high priestess, she is all about intuition, logic, spirituality. Um, she has got a very all-knowing presence about her Pisces, okay? I'm just saying it doesn't have to be a he or she. I'm just saying she's a she and depicted in the card here. So it is what it is. Um, so, and it's all about looking inside your own self here, okay? Because basically you have, you have the key. You already know all along here. So your person is like, okay, I know all along here. And um, then we got the good old Al here, and the Al is a lot of wisdom here. So this person is very all-knowing and very wise person that you're dealing with here. Uh, we got the Two of Cups down here on the table. The Two of Cups here in this particular deck, um, it's about um, uh, kind of being at a crossroads, right? Look, everybody's at a crossroads here, okay? There's, we got an Al here. We got a kitty and we got a mouse here, okay? <laughs> so it's like um, unfamiliar territory, okay? Well, it's familiar territory, but it's about, you know, kind of, it's a card of balance and knowing exactly who is worthy and, um, you know, and it's about respect here too. It's about knowing who's worthy and it's about respect here, okay? So there's a crossroads here. I uh, know there's a crossroads here with this Two of Cups energy. We got the Five of Pentacles down on the table here. Um, it seems like the two of you find comfort here 
in the middle of the night. Maybe it is in the daylight. But it's like this Five of Pentacles in this particular deck is about finding comfort here in, in kissing each other. Literally. This is literally what this, de this, this Five of Pentacles in this deck means. It's about the two of you coming together in the middle of the night, kissing each other here. You guys are enjoying that. But it seems like you guys are at a little bit of a crossroads here with this Two of Cups in this particular deck. Even though you guys got mutual love and you share the love. Um, and then we got Ten Cups here. So Ten Cups is all about, you know, bliss. Um, finding your happy spot, okay? So your person's trying to find bliss and they're trying to find their happy place here. So why is this Two of Cups energy here? What's going on with the Two of Cups energy at the crossroads in your person's energy? In Pisces person's energy. Show me more on the Two of Cups, please. Okay. Okay. The Nine of Swords. Okay. <laughs> Jesus, criminy. <laughs> it could never be easy, right? I know. It can never be easy. So, okay. So, Pisces, this person's got... There's a lot of anxiety here. This person's got a huge amount of anxiety here. And it's a lot of despair and a lot of pain here because you guys are at a crossroads right now. And this person's feeling at a loss here. Oh, my God. So let's talk more on the Nine of Swords. Oh, boy. Show me more on the Nine of Swords. Mm -mm. More on the Nine of Swords here. Okay. <laughs> Despite whatever's going on between the two of you, it's like this person's wanting to um, have the situation take flight. So... They got an anxiety. This is just this person is they're at a crossroads. They don't know what to do. They don't know. And they've got a lot of anxiety here when it comes down to it. But they're d despite the anxiety, despite the crossroads, despite the despair, this person's coming in here with some kind of action here, Knight of Wands or some kind of message to you here. Uh what's let's go more here on the Knight of Wands, please. Show me more on the Knight of Wands. What was that? I seen a card. I seen it. What? Oh, it's the magician. Okay, Pisces. So <laughs> they're coming back. It. You got this person here. Despite whatever's happened here, uh, or how they feel about the situation and being at a crossroads, it's like they still know that like this can they can achieve this right because it's the happiness. It's the sun card. It's crossing the magician here. So, you make this person happy. So, uh, why is the magician showing up here? Why is the magician showing up here, please? Show me why the magician is showing up here, please. Why is the magician showing up here? Okay, because it's the queen of pentacles. Crossing that, it's the chariot card here. Okay, Pisces. Uh, it looks like you're embodying the queen of pentacles energy here. So... When it comes down to it, it's like um, you're looking like a Greek goddess to this person here. You're a very fertile goddess. Um, you're a giver. You're a provider here. And um, this person is like, they're kind of like, oh, mama. Oh, mama. I know I'm at a crossroads. You give me all this anxiety here. But, you know, I got to come in here no matter what because I'm wanting this situation here. To take flight with my beautiful Pisces here. So let's go more on the Queen of Pentacles here. Show me more on the Queen of Pentacles. Let's go. What, where did that card go? More on the Queen of Pentacles. Yep. And there they go. <laughs> Taking flight here, Pisces. <laughs> Hold on. I got to grab a piece of protective stuff here. Of course. <laughs> We got to protect everything around here these days because, you know, you can't be protected enough. So, Pisces, this person's like, you're like, they're looking at you like, oh, mama. Oh, mama, you're hot. So, despite whatever is going on here and how they feel about this crossroads, it's like this person is wanting to seek bliss and allow um, this situation to take them wherever it, it's going to go because... At the end of the day, this person is like, I just got to be on the journey. So, I feel like this person is, why they've been at a crossroads here is because they realize that they can't control the situation here. And they just got to allow the river, the flow of the river here to go. This person's literally floating down on the river on a raft. 
So it's like, we just got to, I just got to do this. No matter how it turns out here at the end of the day, no matter how conflicted I feel, no matter how much anxiety I have, I just got to go with the flow here. Okay. All right. Okay. I dig it. I dig it. So let's talk to the five of pentacles, please. Show me the five of pentacles. Five of pentacles here. It's right. The six of wands. Oh, it came right back on out here. So, Pisces, this person is definitely wanting your attention. This person, you make this person feel very vulnerable here. And, like, I feel like this person's waiting for you to give them something here to where they won't be so vulnerable here. Okay? They're just very vulnerable here. Especially when it comes, like, when they're kissing you here. They get real vulnerable. Uh, they get real nervous, and it's like, then they're waiting for something here, to, for you to give them something so they won't be so vulnerable. What is this person wanting Pisces to give them so they don't feel vulnerable? What's going on here? What are they wanting Pisces to give them? Okay, they're wanting you to give them the Five of Cups. <laughs> and it's not a bad thing, so it's like... It's, they want you to, it's like, they want you to make a choice. This five of cups here in this particular deck is about making a choice here. So they want you to make a choice here. Okay. And, um, they're trying not to fret about this. So that's why they're going with the current here, trying not to fret, but they're wanting you to make a choice here. And what does this choice entail that they want Pisces to make? What's this choice that they want Pisces to make? What they want. Oh, boy. It's the star. Oh, my goodness. It's the Ace of Cups. Pisces, this person wants you to choose them as a lover. This is what's coming through here. Pisces, this person's wanting you to choose them as a lover at the end of the day. I mean, it's just, that's what it is what it is. They're willing to go on the journey and allow this to take them wherever it is going to go, despite them being at a crossroads. So, basically... There's something more that they want here, but they're not getting it. So they just got to allow the situation to unfold naturally. So let's talk to the Ten Cups, please. Show me the Ten Cups. Why is the Ten Cups here? Top to bottom, let's go one more time. Show me the Ten Cups, please. Why is the Ten Cups here? That flew right on my cat here. <laughs> oh, Pisces, 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 Pisces. Somebody is serious about you. <laughs> Pisces, this person's put the work in when it comes to their home. Okay? So basically, this person, after they've, they've worked on their house here, something's going on with their home here, and they're really wanting to take some satisfaction here and enjoy the magic of their, their, their home here. Because it's like they've reached the finish line here. So this person's wanting you to... Like, really indulge here with their home setting here. Um, this is wild here. <laughs> it's like, they want you to find bliss. This person wants you to find bliss in their home. With They want bliss in their home with you, is what's coming through. And this person's willing to, to go on the journey here. So, okay. <laughs> We're going to get the white sage and clear it off. What else do you want to tell my Pisces? What else do you want to tell my Pisces here? Yeah, it's the uh, Page of Swords. So they could be trying to get some kind of information here or knowledge here about you, Pisces. What else do you want to tell my beautiful Pisces, please? Top to bottom, let's go. What else do you want to tell my beautiful Pisces, please? Okay, what was that? It's the Ten of Cups reiterating what I just said here about this person wanting you to... Come home with them and enjoy their house with them for whatever reason. And it's the Ten of Wands. So this person, whatever heavy load that this person has been carrying, it's like they put it down and we got the Three of Cups. So they're looking forward to seeing you again. So, Tarot's been adjourned. If you enjoyed this reading, please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. I love you guys.